the event tray being for that purpose. If you wanted something special, though, we didn't get any entries. Okay. But we could, we could get... Um, there they are. The gorgeous Anna Fraser. The team. The team. <laughs> team Toby. Oh, it's called the filming. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's the setup for Toby's show. What's Toby's show called? You've just got here. Sorry, you're now in my, my blog film. Okay, my blog about this. So you don't know what this show's called? What's this show called? I don't know. This is great. It looks great on film. Loud flash. Thank you. This is Toby's uh, Loud Flash show, which uh, was um, pretty influential in Madrid and London. He's doing really well with it. This is on the floor before. This gentleman, I think, hangs it. It's looking pretty damn great. So Anna Fraser's gallery on La Cienega in LA. Um, is there anything you want to say about your show? Yeah, I think it's great. It's going up on the wall. It's rather laborious, but these guys are doing a great job. And. Um, I think we'll have it up on the wall in three days. Now, why did you call it yeah. Loud Flash? Because it was a brief moment in British history. And it's also like an omni-atopia. And when you say Loud Flash, it kind of paints a picture visually um, of what you're going to see. And it was a loud flash. It was a moment. It was very loud. And it came when, and it was, but it came when it had such huge impact. How long did it last? Well, I guess you could really say the high point is like 76 to 78. So two years, all of this happened. No, this isn't, because we, like, the, the punk culture, you could say went on up to 1990, or you could say from Thatcher was 79 to 90. Um, you could say it um, ended with Thatcher, or it ended with Thatcher when she went to office. You know, I guess a different thing happened, new way, anarcho-punk. But you could say punk died and Thatcher took office. I guess I would say. I mean, lots of people think this is a working class revolt. This is a working class response to Thatcher's very different Britain that she was creating. What, what, would you agree with that? Well, um, punk started under a Labour administration, but there, there, there was a high unemployment and, and Britain was changing. But actually, punk in the early days is pretty much sort of infiltrated with art students, middle class, but it was authentically working class. I mean, the Sex Pistols, you can use that term, were authentic. But no. McLaren wasn't. No, McLaren was a Jewish guy from North London. Um, a bit like yourself. I mean, punk really was class blind. It wasn't really an issue. I think they were all outsiders. Punk strung them all together. And then you have these guys, or kids from Bromley, which is a lower middle class suburb of London. You know, like what you call respectable working class. Their children were the Brooklyn contingent, their instrumental in punk. I don't really think class was a huge issue. That developed later, um, something called oil or street punk. But initially, these were the cool kids. You know. I was at art college in Chatham with Billy Childish in 1978. And um, I remember seeing a very ordinary man by God Save the Queen and thought he was the most subversive man I'd ever seen. He was a commuter going back to yeah. Raynham or something. But what I wanted to say was I thought a lot of it was a reaction to sort of that new romantic overproduced music. Like, well, it, 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 oh, really? Oh, okay. All overindulgence of Led Zeppelin, progressive rock, guitar solos, and that was all swept away with this amazing energy of three minute songs singing about people's everyday experience, not about trolls and 
kind of psycho bullshit LSD. So in that respect, it was work of class and everyday experience and the kind of the rage. Whereas the music up until then had just been either entertaining or sort of self-indulgent or, or escapism by Bowie, like a lot of punks came from Bowie and Roxy Music. And that was kind of dressing up and getting out of your kind of everyday misery. And what was the name of that German band that they all cite as... Uh, as German. The German band that they all... Craftwork, yeah. So I didn't... Isn't that weird the way my mind's completely played tricks on me, even though I was there? I thought New Romanticism came before this. How no, weird. New Romanticism is a faction. And then... Oh, really? I see it all relating to politics, and that's how I came to the idea of And I see punk as the end That's fascinating. That's what punk is. Punk to me is the end of Great Britain. That's it. This was the, the dying scream. And then we became a Blairite, um, you know, economy. Now tell me something else. There are a few women up there. There's uh, the Slits, there's Blondie, yeah, there's uh, was Polystyrene. Was Were there any gay punks? Yeah, the Who? Chelsea. Oh, okay. Interesting. Thank you.